handful of emails about this, and we want to be clear, there are systems in place to make sure no one can vote twice. I took Tiny Tia to vote. Last weekend, Kirsten Marino decided to cast her ballot during early voting. Along with her dog, Tia, here's one. Marino took two mail-in ballots addressed to her to the polling place. Here's the other. You surrendered both of the ballots and you cast your ballot in person. Yes, ma'am. I became upset. I was just upset. I thought, is this, is this some way people are cheating? Concerned about potential fraud, Marino shared cell phone video of the ballots with eight on your side. I have two ballots. We showed the clip to Craig Latimer, the supervisor of elections in Hillsborough County. We took a look at both of the mail-in ballots. What's going on here? Those, those ballots are from two separate elections. According to Latimer, one ballot was for the general election, the other for the primary. Tonight, an important reminder, if you signed up for vote by mail, you could have gotten up to three ballots for three different elections this year. But even if someone does get two ballots for the same election, Latimer says there's no way they can vote twice. If you vote by mail, as soon as that envelope hits our office, it, it's registered that you voted and it cancels your ability then to check in an in-person vote. And at this point in the game, Latimer does not want you to put your ballot in the mail. He says it's best to drop it off at an early voting site. In the Tampa Newsroom, Masa Saidi, 8 on your side.